I just turned on my car and it went bing bing and I looked down that's right I have 11 kilometers of petrol left I'm gonna have to look on Google Maps and see where this petrol station and hope that it's in within uh, nine k's apparently there's one two kilometers away we're saved it's fine this petrol station out of order unleaded fuel pump is out of order um, well that's that's great isn't it I have eight kilometers of fuel in my tank there is a petrol station in snug the snug petrol station is six 0.8 kilometers away and the car says that I have eight kilometers of fuel left there is no room for error I'm on a downhill hopefully if I if I run out I'll just roll into the petrol station fingers fucking crossed hey good thing I have Arden's phone number I'm sure they'll, they'll come help me if they're free if they're not busy Otherwise, I am supposed to be having dinner at their place tonight, so I guess I could just pull over on the side of the road and take photos of birds and eventually be like, hey, hey Arden, um, you know how I'm supposed to be coming over? I'm, I'm just in snug at the side of the road, uh, <laughs> made myself nice and snug in the car, can't go anywhere out of petrol. Please help. I've got a quest for you, dear NPC. <laughs> there is a stranded traveler. I'm stranded in snug. Oh god, my thing says two kilometers left. Okay, I'm trying to use the accelerator as little as possible. So I don't have my foot on the accelerator right now. Because I think that's what they said in Mythbusters. I think that they said that the pushing on the accelerator burns the fuel, but if you're not actually pushing on it, you you don't burn as much fuel. So I'm just coasting down this road. The car behind me is gonna get kind of annoying because I think I'm going under the speed limit, but uh... Oh god, I see it! I see it! It's on the horizon! It's on the horizon! Ampole! If they have <laughs> no unleaded fuel... Okay, alright, using the accelerator now. Okay, welcome to Snug. Thank you. Snug Ampole, please have what I need. Now, what, what would Grace say? Good vibes only. Snug is going to have what I need. That's, that's what I need to say. Snug will have what I need. Okay. What is ULP? What does ULP stand for? Oh fuck, I came in the exit. Fuck's sake. I'm just gonna have to go around. Look, I swear I'm a good driver. That's what I said to Grace when I started the car and tried to drive and I had the handbrake on. I was like, I promise I'm a good driver. I, pr I promise. Oh god, this, this fucking Mitsubishi is gonna take my fucking spot. Shit. Fuck you! Okay, excuse me. Bum 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 Wait a second! Yay! There's more pumps! Fuck yes! Okay, thank god. <laughs> Shit, everyone's gonna be so mad at me. Uh, I'm just fucking everyone around at this point. Okay what happens my, when I get too excited nothing makes sense oh my god the BMW is literally just just like <laughs> just got cones on either side of it it's not going anywhere they're like ah sir you didn't pay for your fuel um, your card declined we're just gonna put these witches hats uh, at the front and the back of your car um, unfortunately you, you may not leave until you can afford to pay and uh, now they're now they're making him work <laughs> behind the behind the checkout <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this. One kilometer left. One kilometer. Okay, time time to get the fuel. 100 dollars. I got apple juice. One protein bar and a tank of petrol. One hundred dollar dues. One hundred dollar dues. Please buy my photos on Redbubble. Please. Right, well, um, I have some time to kill between now and when I'm meeting up with the NPCs. So 
I really want to try to go down by the water. Um, I drove past, oh fucking hell, shit. I drove past a really beautiful body of water just down there and I've got no idea how to get to it. Oh, that's called Esplanade Drive or Road or something. An Esplanade? Isn't an Esplanade like a road that runs along water? Oh, it, it doesn't even say Esplanade Drive or Road or it just says Esplanade. That's promising. That's very, very promising. Oh my gosh. Wow. I see birds. I see birds. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, there's so many places. Oh, fuck. Wow. Wow. Oysters. Oh, I don't know where to stop. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to follow. Oh, look, plover. See, so you just come down this street for free. I don't know if we'll see any raptors, but... There's, there's birds here, for sure. Oh my god! There's plovers! Plovers with babies. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, and there's a fucking bird on a wire! Holy shit! Wait. Oh my god. This is why I keep my camera by my side at all times. Okay, well that photo is useless. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and show you guys the plover babies. And with any luck, the plover is going to get really, really mad because angry plovers are hilarious. Okay. Hello birdies. Oh yes, yes. How close will they let me get? Oh my God, they're literally not moving. They, they couldn't care less, look at them. They really don't care. Oh, it's looking at me. Oh fuck. I'm sorry, please don't be mad. because her face is yellow and she's sitting next to some yellow flowers. <sighs> what a nice spot. This is lovely. Heck yes. <laughs> the little yellow flowers in the background. <laughs> okay. I like this a lot. I don't believe it. I got him with a bug in his mouth. Look at that. That's a bug. Okay. I'm satisfied. Oh, looks like a little spot I can pull into. Hopefully I don't get bogged. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Look. sounds very loud. Uh, let's go. All right. Well, is this not just perfect? Tide is out. So I'm assuming there's going to be some burbs probably trying to have a pick around on the sand because there might be some, you know, beach stairs, crabs or fish or oysters or something. Oh, wow, well, what a tranquil spot. This is perfect. And this is exactly how every episode of Small Town Murder starts. It's like, Billy and Joe were walking down to go bear hunting and they went into the forest and they looked across and saw a puddle and a leg was sticking out of it. Some, yeah, <laughs> ominous. Well, there's not a single bird here. Nope, I take that back, there's a duck. But I don't see a lemonade stand. Tell me, what is that? Not a plover. Oh, that is. Oh. oh my god, this ground is really fucking weird. What the hell? Why is it spongy? What the fuck? Oh, nope. I don't like the. Oh, whoa, whoa. I feel like. Oh my god. I feel like um, I'm gonna fall down into a, a Harry Potter hole. Oh, seagulls. I won't make that mistake again, thinking that they're eagles. Oh no. I've encountered a treacherous terrain. Mm, plus one agility. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna have to roll for, no, no, big bird, don't go. Ah, oh, fuck, shit. Ah, oh, that bird would have made such a good photo. But there's one over there. Oh yeah, but there's people over there. Oh, the bird's gonna fly, the bird's gonna fly. All right. 
Roll for agility. <clears throat> oh shit. Whew, I almost uh, almost failed that one. Okay, I see a seagull on a rock. That's promising because that always makes for a good photo. God, it stinks down here. His eyes are closed. Literally closed. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him. Hey! There's a boat! Over there! Covered in birds! Wait! Wait! Looks like um you know if I was playing Skyrim or something. No no no. If I was playing Zelda or Skyrim, I'd be walking through this area and then suddenly the panic music would start playing and something would just come out of that hole there and chase me. Okay. Um I don't see any birds other than the ones on the boat thing. Oh my god a crab! Look! Hello. Hi. Hello. Please don't go. No, please don't go. Okay. Oh, oh, there's another one. Look. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, I see they're everywhere. Oh, fuck. If you sit still for long enough, you notice them all. They're everywhere. Look at him go. I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and get hot inside it, birds. You know what's upsetting? The photos weren't even worth it. <laughs> the birds were still too far away. Um, I mean, the photos are alright, it's just a bunch of birds sitting on a boat. None of them flew, none of them did anything interesting, none of them had a battle in the sky, so a bit pointless, really. <gasps> oh, I know. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fucking sick. Am I allowed to take this? Does anyone mind if I take this? No? Thank you. Put it there. Nice. 
the hottest accessory this season. Oh my god, there's an oyster in there. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck. Wow. Delicious. Best seafood Tasmania has to offer. Good timing. My alarm just went off to take my evening medication, which means it must be 5.30. Which means I still have an hour before I have to get to Arden's place. Which means I can photograph more birds. My camera ran out of battery. But not before I captured the big bird knocking the small bird off the perch. <laughs> this spot is too perfect. I'm gonna have to go to the car, change batteries. I'm gonna put on my waders. I'm gonna come back for sunset because all the birds are coming in now, they're everywhere. Oh, fuck, I'm tired. Mm. Nothing beats Tasmanian apple juice, I'll tell you that right now. My thrifted boots. Looking nice. Hey, I thought of a fun series. I've enjoyed coming to Tasmania so much and having the meet up with my NPCs. I just, I haven't felt so happy in so long. And I thought after reading someone else's comment, uh, they were like, hey Alex, I'm from Western Australia. We have some amazing birds here. You should come to WA and we could do a meet up and you know, uh, you can photograph the birds here. And I was like, why don't I make a series about photographing all the birds in Australia? I mean, I'll, I'll never be able to photograph all of them despite the fact that my OCD sees that as a challenge. <laughs> but I could go to all of the states and I could take myself on photography trips and then do meetups with people. That sounds nice. That sounds like the dream, to be honest. <sighs> this would look very strange to me on driving past right now. Big fat seagulls. Big fat fucking seagulls. Oh my god. Look. Do you see them? Look. Yes! There's a whole bunch of people down there. Uh, families and you know, people having fun. Um, anyway, they're going to scare all the birds away and the birds will fly this way. And I am going to hide in funny looking mangrovey kind of things here and hopefully they won't see me so they'll just fly on by with no problem at all and i'll be able to photograph them so where should i sit that looks comfortable i think i'll sit there oh my god fuck there's one look see my theory was right and he's got a thing in his beak god fucking damn it oh fuck
little too close to the country. My foot got stuck in the sand and I went to lift it and I lost my balance and uh, I almost lost my new camera. Look at them. Hello. Hi. Well, it's quarter past six and I'm supposed to be at Arden's house at 6.30, so I have 15 minutes to get there. Uh, it's a 15 minute drive, so if I left right now, I would be precisely on time. Um, I need to get over there, so I'm basically going to be driving all the way around there and then all the way back. Uh, I don't think that my waders will take me all that way. Uh, I just sent Arden a picture of this. Um, with my sincerest apologies that I may be five minutes late. And I promise I'm trying to leave, but every time I try, another bird puts itself in my way. Look, two ducks. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just, <sighs> I have to photograph them. Nice. Duck has something in its mouth. Yeah. I was in a gifted program at school for a reason. Snug. I will forever remember the times that we shared together. Goodbye, Snug Tavern. Goodbye, Snug Fire Station. Goodbye, Snug Primary. Goodbye, Man with the Mullet. You know what's weird? I'm 13 kilometers away from Arden's place. 13 is my lucky number. I feel like I should do a compilation of the amount of times on this trip that numbers have popped up. I've been like, hmm. <laughs> I'm like Denise Richards, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> you know, her partner, her husband. He's like, numbers, man. Numerology means everything. I can't wait to get us. Numbers, numbers. <laughs> That's me. I'm like, I see the number 13. It's a sign. I know I'm doing the right thing. Well, there's uh, the Nine Lives Up shop on the right there. The Ten Lives, sorry. Uh, and I didn't get to go to it. Womp womp. Not this trip, no no. Not this trip. This trip was all about the birds and the NPCs. Although, if I do in fact extend my stay and not go home tomorrow, I could see NPCs and birds and go thrifting if I come back out here. Oh my god, I love this place. This place is incredible. Uh, I, I recognize Harden's car. Uh, I want to live here. I really, really, really want to buy a holiday house here. No, I've got an even better idea. Here's my, oh, cat. Here's my idea. Wait, I wonder if that cat belongs to Arden. Hello, very nice cat. Very, very nice cat. Oh my god, it's going up Arden's driveway. Are you fucking kidding me? No way. No way. Wait, hang on. Cat, cat, cat is going into Arden's garden. That must be Arden's cat. Oh my god! <laughs> I've got an idea. I bought the cheapest house in Tasmania. Because there are some cheap places, like really cheap, or, you know, like 150,000 Australian dollars, which is probably like 90,000 US dollars or something. And if I bought a house for that price, I could turn it 
I could convert it so I could do like a renovation series. I could come live down here and I, I could hang out with the NPCs and we could convert it into a holiday house. And then when people come and stay there for holidays, I can take the money and put it towards the pigeon sanctuary. I'm going to talk to the, I'm going to talk to Clay about it. Clay is, um, well, he's like my friend Alex, one of those people that thinks and knows things. He'll know what to do. Look, get in loser. We're going haunting. I can hear laughter. <laughs> oh my God, they're all there. Oh, hello. Hello, dear friends. I, I was photographing birds. Oh my God, look, there's a swan planter. That's so cute. Look. Sorry. What is the password? Um, hello, dear friends. Yes. <laughs> Peekaboo. I don't know. I don't know. What, what was the password you were thinking of? Uh, I <gasps> you're think... wearing the thing. Ah, you look so cool. I always I'm think so of pigonophobia, but that's just me. About what? what, what? It's a fear of beards. A fear of beards? <laughs> yes. Who would have a fear of beards? Beards are... it is. Oh my gosh, you're all here. Yeah. Hi, everyone's oh. here. This cat walked past me and I pulled up and I was like, I bet, I bet that's your cat. And then it came up the driveway and I was like... <laughs> That wasn't my cat. Oh, well, she doesn't go outside. Well, there's, 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 I'll show, okay, I'll show you a video of the cat. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yes, big sniff. Do I, you can smell the oysters that I was oh, shucking. Oh, you might get kisses. Oh. 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 Yeah, she's identified. Yeah. Big identified. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like, guys, I was literally um, in waders by the water in snug. Uh, Taking photos, of taking photos of swans and also then picking oysters out of the sand and then like trying to pop them open and eating them. And the first one I had was the best oyster I've eaten in my entire life. And then everyone after that made me think I'm going to have diarrhea all night. Well, Grace is going to be so sad that she's not here. Yep. Hi. Yeah, Hi. You're going to get Sully. kisses or groomed? This is oh, Sully. Oh, you have been blessed. A blessing. Very good. Very good. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> the blessing's been given. Oh. Hello. Baby. Hi. Clay, I want to ask you a question. So when I was driving into this suburb, um, mm. I was like, this place is incredibly beautiful and I want to, I would live here. Like mm -hmm. if, I, if I was from Tasmania, I would so want to live in this suburb. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I want a holiday house in Tasmania. And um, I, I was telling Arden about how I found this farm that was on like 33,000 square meters. It was like, you know, Amazing. this incredible, massive place and it was um it's been in the one family for a hundred hundred years and it's like got orchards and all this stuff and it's only like 40 minutes or so from hobart but, but i guess because it's like you know distance wise in sydney 40 minutes from sydney is uh Nothing. normal but here i think the people are like oh that's really far away kind of thing. Yeah, so the prices are, are quite good um but anyway i thought what if if I went on realestate.com mm -hmm. and I sorted property in Tasmania by lowest to highest, mm -hmm. and then I made a video that was like, I bought the cheapest place in Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I was thinking I might, I'll, I would look it up and I'd go, well, I would ask, ask you, I would just say, okay, well, this one is in whatever place. I'd say, how do you know this place? What do you, and you, you might be like, absolutely do not, d don't, <laughs> doesn't matter how cheap it is, don't do it. Um, but oh, then, <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's a, there's a school for girls called Ravenswood in Sydney. It's cursed. It's, it's just a yeah. cursed name. Yeah, yeah, then it's just a cursed name. Cursed name. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if you went to Ravenswood. Um, you you probably either got bullied or you were a bully. Sorry, I hate to say it. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> spicy well, this is probably turning into the stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyone here from Konoki? <laughs> oh, sucks to be you. You could be talking to people in New Zealand. Please. Shout out to Gagebrook people. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Please leave. <laughs> Vail, Vail. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I thought if I buy like a really cheap place and I do a little <laughs> series where I renovate it and then I could hire it out as like a holiday house and then all the money that I get from hiring out as the holiday house I can put towards my like, like pigeon to sanctuary that I want to make. But I, I just I just went to the, the raptor sanctuary, you know, in, um, mm -hmm. what's it starts with a K? K can, what's that place down there called starts with a K? Kettering. Kettering. Yeah. Yeah. I went to the raptor, raptor refuge there and the dude that runs it um, he, it's like, I, I asked them, how does this all run? Because it's just a place that's filled with 
like injured birds that need to be rehabbed. And they're like, oh, we're just not non for profit, so like people, you, you pay to enter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, you pay to enter, and then they sell things like calendars and stuff like that. And um, they just pay their staff, but then um, the apparently the dude that owns it, he literally like runs a, a concreting company or something, and the place just runs itself, like just young people work there and look rehab the birds and then people come and look at the birds and they do like an hour and a bit guided tour and i was like that's what i should do i should buy the cheapest place in tasmania <laughs> fill it with pigeons <laughs> and then pay, you know charge people yes, to right. come and look around and look take at my birds. yeah come look at the pigeons and take photos with them and you can buy some pigeon merchandise and then you know all the money just goes back to the pigeons so anyway i said i was like i might i may very well just make a gofundme and be like help me buy the cheapest place in tasmania <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you about it because as the, I think that you're the oldest person here, so you've lived in Tasmania the longest, I would assume. <laughs> so I thought you might know, you know, best, you know, so if I go on realestate.com and I say, what about this? You can say, what do you think? Yeah. But what do you think this is an idea? Do you think this is <laughs> So, I keep a bit of an idea, a eye on property prices and different things around Tasmania anyway, not because I will ever probably easily be able to own a property but mm. because I find it interesting to watch everything kind of change and go down so yeah, yeah that's neat that yeah, I was um, mortified but also you know uh, overjoyed when I saw the prices here compared to Sydney because if you just if you just go to houses and sort by lowest to highest there's places that are like a hundred thousand dollars I mean they might be in, in the middle of absolutely buck flat nowhere but they're like it's Queenstown or something mm. <laughs> New Zealand is a very nice place. New Zealand is very up in there. No, no, we have a Queenstown. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm joking. But like this we said, this is, is not, it's not very... original. No. There's nothing original. Anyway, I think so we've got fine. a Nile. We've got a Baghdad. I saw Baghdad. Okay. Okay. But we also have Dismal Swamp. And I think that's, oh, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, that's I, cool. I bet Ooze is pretty we original. We have Moriarty. You're yeah. joking. We have Mangalore. We do. But not Mandalore. Broke Neck Mandalore. Hill. Broke Neck Hill. Yep. Broke Neck Hill. No, Broke your Neck Hill. And yeah, bust your goal. Don't. Hopefully I will eventually have a place in Tasmania and then I can be down here all the time. One place <laughs> I recommend maybe next time you come down is Eagle Hawk Neck because okay, you Eagle says. you'll have fun. Finding all the I forget what what's the the do places the do oh, yes, yes. Do going town. to do town do town, yeah. going to do town. Yeah. yeah basically Basis. there's heaps of signs everywhere there's do little there's do nothing. There's, I've got a postcard with them all do on me. there. Do me. Yeah. Are you serious? Um, yeah. 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 There's also a do us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to get to Eagle Hawk Neck, you have to go through what is considered a do town. Yeah. yeah. And every house there, I'm pretty sure, like, maybe legally, if not socially, has to have, like, a little do sign. Yeah, they all have, like, So, like, like there's do puns. or do not. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I was driving through Snug, I was like, look, the Snug Bakery, the Snug Post Office, the Snug Tavern. Yeah. <laughs> it was the cutest Penguin? thing. Penguin? There's a place called Penguin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not only is it a place called Penguin, and not only does it have massive numbers of fairy penguin colonies nearby, but... Everything is to theme. All the rubbish bins are penguins. All of the shops <laughs> are my house penguin there. themed. Yeah, you have your Everything phone in your hand. Could penguin you penguin. please look at real estate in penguin? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know. I grew up 15 minutes away Did from you? penguin. And oh. uh, yeah, taking okay. visitors there was amazing. Oh, and there's the big penguin. We've oh, got of course. A eight, nine foot tall penguin. <laughs> we have the big merino, like, sheep up in oh. the <laughs> main. No, but I want a big I've penguin. Been, I've only ever been to the big banana. Yeah, big, yeah. Lay, and it's not even big, big. No. like when i went to the big banana i was like so is this the sign directing you to the big banana and my mom's like no no that's it i was like but it's it's not very big i did go there when i was like 12 so i'm like whoa <laughs> the, the big merino sheep is gigantic mm -hmm. uh you know you look up at it like that um what else what, i was so having a conversation about this exact thing to someone else not even last week <laughs> we were talking about all the big things in australia <laughs> um there's another big piece of fruit, isn't there? Uh, big there's pineapple. pineapple. Ah, there you go. Yeah. The big prawn. Yeah. The big prawn. I've never seen the big prawn. But I want to see the big penguin. Oh, how much is it? Well, it's expensive, isn't it? I'm going to resort it. Uh, <laughs> it's sort of like lowest to high. Yeah, I'm crying. Damn it. It's a little bit too whimsical. Is there, a, a, is there like oh, a... The... <laughs> Okay. Break, break it to a slave, like, uh, is, casual half a mil. 
Ah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. There are a number of nice burrows that are being used some parts of the year. Yeah. Burrows? Ah, yes, yes, in Penguin. I'm sure there are, actually. Let's expand the search out just a smidge. Yeah. Is there a place called Pigeon? No. Uh, uh, there is. Okay. Uh, there probably 455,000, and it's... But what is it? Uh, it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have a roof? Oh, it has a roof. Come on, Dad. Hang on. This is giving small town murder vibes. If anyone's listened to that, oh. we're the real estate report is the small pigeon town hole rivulet. I mm. drove past that on my way down here from the accommodation. Pigeon hole nice. rivulet. Mm. I was like, cute. Nice. Okay, fine. I'll set up a tent here. That's fine. <laughs> three stars. Two people rated it three stars. The town. <laughs> the, the, the pigeon the hole rivulet. Like uh, the rivulet. Did they leave itself. reviews? <laughs> no. Damn it. Oh, just There's just nothing funnier than reading reviews of small places. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like on Google Maps. Why did they keep friendly? There used to be a website called Shit Places of Tasmania. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I should buy. Oh, what if I did? I bought the cheapest house in the worst part of Tasmania. Don't do that. So Strathgordon. No, no, no. But then we can make it a good part of Tasmania. Strathgordon is at least pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but there's not wanting to rotate it. But um, you know. Oh, so it does have a roof. It does have a roof. There's windows as well. There's windows. Some of the siding looks like it's trying to be outing. Um, so it's got a roof, but it doesn't have a ceiling. It doesn't seem to have a ceiling, no. And it also looks like there's been a fire or uh, maybe you know, interesting Nothing that electronic renovation setup. can't fix. I mean... For 450 It looks like a murder cabin from the back. You can always use it as a murder cabin. Murder cabin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, it does. Bird yeah. sanctuary. You just knock the house down and put up an aviary. A, or aviary. a decent sized yard, I mean, though. That That's kind of nice. Get a plot of land. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I should do that. You just get a plot of land. Yeah. Ah. I can tell you the cheapest plot of land uh, within <laughs> 40 minutes from Hobart's $80,000. Oh, oh, you know this, do you? Yeah. Oh. I was looking at it today. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, guys, can we raise $80,000? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hit the donate button. Oh, I love this. That's fantastic. You know, it's got character. It reminds me of The Sims. <laughs> like, what? that wallpaper exists in The Sims, I'm pretty sure. Like, The Sims as in The Sims what we watch on YouTube, or The <laughs> Sims as in The Sims what I make? The Sims as in video oh. game. Like, the... Like, as curse. in oh, the kind of thing Did that I that? make, or the kind of thing that people who are good at the game make? I... It's certainly something. Define good at the game. It exists. Um, Technically. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. I had to it's not. It's also. I had to explain to Alex's yeah. audience who Little Simsy was, and I had to explain Stanley uh, Hunter. A, a, a rustic <laughs> bathroom. I see potential, to be honest, yeah, because rustic I, watch a, lot of, I lo watch a lot of renovation uh, shows. Um, I've right, seen worse. Yes. I don't mind if it doesn't have asbestos. That's, asbestos is the only oh, thing that scares me. And white ants. Oh, oh, no, no, I don't have any pombilla It's uh, 455,000. But it's, 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 a, no it's a place yeah. with a roof. You, um, for 400 and something grand, you get nothing in in Sydney. Like, yeah, <laughs> they yeah, they make you give one yeah. of your kidneys and then, <laughs> then they make you pay $1.4 <laughs> million. Dollars. Oh. Yeah, true. That's Nine like, minutes from Olveston, 17 minutes from Burnie. Hours flight to Melbourne. Well, there you go. Not bad. Okay, um, I'm going to look through place names and find some fun place names, and then I'm going to try and. Okay, if I if I get if I manage to crowdfund enough money to get this place, that's going to be a bird reserve. It's going to be like a a, fr a free for all. Anyone that wants to go there can go and stay and have holidays and stuff there and there'll be birds everywhere. That's and what the red bubble funds can be for. <laughs> I, well, I was like, I want to set up, I'll set up different funds. I'll be like, okay, so the thanks button on my YouTube goes to the pigeons and then red bubble goes toward photography and stuff. And then if I do like a GoFundMe, that can go toward the wildlife sanctuary that I'm going to make here. <laughs> Cause I've been to that many sanctuaries and I'm like, I could do this. I, I mean, if, do this if you make that archie plushie, like, oh, then that can go towards the sanctuary too. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> so if we're looking near Penguin, we could look at Cooey. Cooey. Or we could look at Promised Land. Oh, no. Promised Land was the best name I found. Oh, like, so no, no, the other side, there's Misery oh. Knob. Oh. oh my god! I'm like... Or oh, we could have a look at Nowhere Else. Okay, so oh, that's the place let's I was... break out the bleep that's... filter for some of these. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a place no, like Nowhere Else, isn't that? That's what it's called, isn't uh, it? There is just, it just says Nowhere Else, and it's right next to Paradise. <laughs> and which is, again, next to Dangerous Hole. <laughs> Paradise next to a Dangerous, dangerous hole. hole. That's the title of my memoir. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, there is also deep bottom, but that's a bit further down. <laughs> 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 that's 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 if you say it's a bit further down, get out of here. <laughs> I'm not somewhere else. wrong. <laughs> no, it's not wrong. You're not wrong. That's incredible. That's the biography. Okay, how so dare you? I wrong. already made the joke. No. Yeah. <laughs> we could look at boobs flat. So, Titigi lake. I like, I like, I like boobs flat. Boobs flat. I like boomers bottom. You can't boomers go there. Boomers bottom. Any... Are these real? These yeah. are real. Yeah. These are all real. Names. <laughs> how did you find this place? What did you Google? I just didn't Google Tasmanian place names. Okay, everyone, everyone, <laughs> Google Tasmanian place names list. The NPCs have to vote, <laughs> and then we're gonna. I mean, if you go. Huh? I like Hellfire Bluff. Yeah. Oh, Mossy Nickel cool. Bend. There is an <laughs> excellent distillery near there. Oh, Hellfire which one? Bluff. Oh, yeah, Hellfire. Yeah. Yeah. Hellfire, Hellfire the, distillery. Oh, oh Butt of Liberty. Yeah. You could go gym. Crackpot. That's a nice place. <laughs> Actually, not where, bad. The, Why are there so many bottoms? Yeah. The, yeah. There's Little Crackpot. I mean, yeah, Little Crackpot. Crack yeah, 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 it's like a miniature maze. There's Deep Bottom, Boomer's Bottom, Stumpy's Bottom, Snap, no, Officer's Bottom, Broad Bottom, Long Bottom, Deep Bottom. Neville. Neville. Yeah. Bottom hole. Grassy bottom. Sorry, I'm a Grassy bottom. <laughs> <laughs> bottom hole. Bottom hole. <laughs> you think that's funny? Cummings head. Yeah. Uh, Cummings um, head. Thank you. Jaghead. Dirty bay. Let me why, see. Why do you like this? Yeah, yeah. There's, okay, uh, I. I take back everything oh. I said. Tasmania is not unoriginal. <laughs> <laughs> we could set you up in the nipples. <laughs> the nipples. You, no, no, see, what I, I find... moved from flat, what was it? Flat boob or whatever you call it. Boobs flat. <laughs> boobs flat. <laughs> boobs flat. I moved from boobs flat to, to the nipples. The nipples. <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> the succinctness of this. The dump. Oh, <laughs> I bought a house in the dump. Yeah. Nice. But see, if you set up at the nipples, then you can have a whole heap of tits. Yes! <laughs> Actually, there is a place called Tit something, isn't there? Uh, there is. Yeah, Titty Gee Creek. T okay, come to the bird sanctuary at Titty Gee Titty Gee Creek. Creek. Titty, -gee. Or t Titty Geese Creek. <laughs> Titty Geese Creek. <laughs> <laughs> you could go slightly off of the mainland of Tasmania and find yourself in Ranga. <laughs> That's where we put the commune. A bit sorted. further up, up here at Arse's ear. Yeah. Arse's ear. Yeah, yeah. Arse's ear. Because it looks like a donkey's ear, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Nutbush Creek. Hang on, there's a yeah. place called Ranger. Caitlin, Alex, Daniel. <laughs> we, we, there's four of us. We can start a commune there. Pisspot Creek? Pisspot Creek. Yeah. Wet Bay. Mm. Oh, <laughs> little, <laughs> little dismals down here. There's just straight up the butts. Yeah. The butts. The butts. Okay. The, butts. the butts. Come holiday at the pretty pastel penthouse in the butts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there something that starts with P? Because um, it can be like the pretty pastel. Prickly bottom? The pretty pastel prickly bottom. <laughs> uh, we've got piss pot creek. Pretty, pretty pastel piss pot, yeah. Uh, pensioners bush. Mm. I'm, I'm oh. going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about that one. <laughs> um, there's penguin, obviously, but yeah, yeah, expensive. pretty pastel penguin. Yeah, yeah expensive. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's just so strange for me to think. Platypus that point. Oh, mm. pretty pastel platypus point. Okay, that, that really does. Is. No, that's different. That's ooze spelled O O Z E. Yeah, ooze. that's right down the bottom. There's a place called ooze. Yes, yeah, there's, there's two of them. Apparently. Yeah, it says ooze lake, which is O O Z E, but there's also a place called ooze in like the middle of Tassie that's O U S E. Mm. Yeah, okay, no, ooze double O. It's <laughs> That's incredible. Huh. Yeah, I once was on a trip up to like, I don't know, some lake and I'd fallen asleep on the bus on the way back <laughs> and they down. woke me up and they're like, we're an ooze. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there like, we're an ooze? And I'm like, stop like, me shitting my dick. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, we are not. And they pointed it's a sign a and I place. went, well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Okay, I like ears. that the dungeon is near Deep Thought and also Satan's Lair. Wait, <laughs> that sounds like a campaign waiting to happen. <laughs> well, hang on, why play D and D when you, you can, can actually live D and D? Live D, &D? <laughs> that's what that's what being in Tasmania is like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just <laughs> a laugh. But <laughs> <laughs> what is real? Which is about an hour away from Hobart. -ish. Okay. Oh, and, and it dollars. is. About eighty thousand dollars. There's no property there. There's no no massive amount. That of looks access. like a place that birds could thrive. It 
you could have a bird sanctuary. Eight years. There are eagles and <gasps> all sorts of oh my God. things there. It's how big is down it? Down the end of a uh, it's uh, two point seven acres, eleven one point something hectares. Oh my God! Oh my God! Um, and it's eighty thousand uh, dollars. Eighty thousand plus. It's but just a middle of. We can we can raise eighty thousand dollars. Look at that! Look, that's gorgeous. We buy it for conservation reasons, and if it has the right zoning, we can put a tiny house on it that can be rented out as a holiday house, and then all the funds go towards the sanctuary. You've got to give it to these real estate agent photographers. Yeah, that's a really nice looking house. Mm, it's a... amazing how they take photos of those houses and they just make them look so much better than they mm. really are. <laughs> and it's like three trees and a bush. Yeah. Looks great. It's so mm. open. So much open space. Plenty of room for the kids. Activities. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Daniel. Hello. Um, everyone that is in this room, Dan, you when I when I bring you down here, you will be their friend, just so you know. You, no you don't you don't know that you're friends yet, but you are, just so you know. I don't know who the pressure is on, also him. him. Yeah, him.